Hello, this is Calculus 1.2, Part 2. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to use a polynomial function for modeling, and in particular, quadratic uh, function as well as linear function. So this first example is a um, application of quadratic function in uh, business, where we analyze the revenue function uh, in terms of price. Um, we have this um, demand function which tells us how much will be demanded from customers if on a certain price. Okay, so this is the number of quantity that it will be sold if you, you set a price like this. Um, so the revenue would be a uh, number of items sold times price. So you would just multiply negative 1.04p plus 26 times p. So this is the revenue that you will get if you set a price like this. And um, so we would find the zero of the function. We want to sketch the function and also find the maximum revenue. Now notice that this function is a linear part times another p. So if you multiply them out, it's obviously a quadratic function. And we know quadratic function are parabola. And in this case, if we multiply it out, r of p would actually equal to negative 1.04p squared minus 26p. So this, uh, ha we would have the leading coefficient negative. The power is uh, even, so we know that it is a parabola that's facing downward. So we can actually find the maximum price that would give us, or we'll find the price that give us maximum revenue in the ver in the vertex. So to graph this, to, we would find zero. So zero would be setting um, negative 1.04p uh, plus 26p plus 26 times p equal to zero. Notice that it is already factored. We multiply it out to analyze the end behavior, but when we solve it, we lay it to be in a factored form. So there will be 2, uh, 0, p equal to 0, or negative 1.04p plus 26 is equal to 0. And this, this just means 1.04p is equal to 26. If I model plus 0.104p on this side, so p would be 26 divided by 1.04. And if I put in the calculator, that is 26 divided by 1.04, that is 25. So we have two price, um, price 0 or price 25. In both of these, the revenue will be 0. That means you will not gain, you will not have any income if you set the price like this. And so this two will get, uh, uh, allow us to plot. So it'll be here and here. And we know it's facing down. So we know it's facing down. But how high would it go? If it is a quadratic function, the vertex is always halfway in between the two zeros. So this vertex would have a x. Um, so in this case, this is p, actually. And this is the revenue. The vertex would have a p values or a um, x values of 25 over 2 and f of 25 over 2. So maximum revenue happens at p equal to 25 over 2 do uh, the dollar. So that is 12.5. So the features of quadratic function allow us to uh, find maximum or minimum value very, very good. And then the fact that these, these are factor allow us to find the um, zeros and use it for graphing. The second example is the use of linear models to model change that um, increase const in a constant rate. So let's read this. The population of a city increases from 18,000 a year at year 2015 to 20 to 35,000 at year 2020. So over five years, it starts from 18,000 to 35,000. Find the linear function. 
so we assume that the rate of change is the same that can be used to model the population of the city. Usually population are not modeled by linear, but in a short period of time, sometimes it's okay. So um, let's see how we can model it. So we have two, we have the uh, t equal to zero is 2015. So that would be the y in the cell. So we would say a function would be like this, equal to mx plus b, b is at t equal to zero is equal to two zero one five oh no is uh thirty five thousand no <laughs> year twenty fifteen is eighteen thousand erase this eighteen thousand so and then what is the slope the slope is um, what? So let's write down. 2015 is t equal to zero. Popo uh, po population is 18,000. And in 2020, what would t be? t would be 2020 minus 2015. It would be five. Po 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 uh, population is 35. So obviously this would be y2, y1, x2, one. So my m would be 35 minus 18 over 5 minus 0. So that would be 7 over 5. Um, 1.4. Okay. So my function would be f of x or we I, maybe I'll use p of x. Okay. For population. p of t. t is time p of t is equal to 1.4 t plus 18. Use the function to predict the population at year 2023. So at 2023, t would equal to what? Would be equal to 2023 minus 2015. That is equal to 8. So the population at year 2023 would be p of 8. You go to 1.4 times 8 plus 18. So that is 1.4, 1.4 times 8 plus 18. 20.9, 29.2. So um, the units is thousands. Okay, so that's how you use linear and quadratic models to um, solve equation to model well, uh, uh, some application.